is said to have told a former business associate shortly after Donald Trump's inauguration that the new administration would dissolve sanctions on Russia, clearing the way for a plan to build nuclear reactors in the Middle East, according to a whistleblower. The whistleblower's account was described by Rep. Elijah Cummings, a Maryland Democrat who said in a letter to House Committee on Oversight and Government Reform Chairman Trey Gowdy that the exceptionally troubling claims of grave abuses merited a new round of subpoenas to try and illuminate the allegations. Mr. Flynn, a top campaign surrogate and short-lived national security adviser to Mr. Trump, has become a key figure in special counsel Robert Mueller's investigation of potential coordination between the Trump campaign and the Russian government. Mr. Flynn recently pleaded guilty to lying to the FBI about his contact with Russian Ambassador Sergei Kislyak. Democratic legislators have already probed whether Mr. Flynn sought to advance a joint U.S. Russian plan to bolster nuclear power in the Middle East while he was in the White House. They have sought more information about Mr. Flynn's 2015 trip to the Middle East, which involved the plan. The journey was underwritten by the firm ACU Strategic Partners. According to a September letter from House Democrats citing a confirmation from ACU's managing director Alex Copson. Now Mr. Cummings is presenting what he calls a credible allegation that Mr. Flynn was communicating with Mr. Copson after Mr. Trump became president.